Hello scientists, welcome to Zhuvang Mat, the scientific illustration channel for scientists. In this video, we will be drawing a lab rat, and before we get into it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe because look at how cute this rat is, it needs your support. And uh, also there will be an upcoming video about the difference between rats and mice, so make sure you subscribe, you'll get to see that video so you can implement those differences in your illustrations. So uh, without further ado, let's start to draw our rat. This is the reference I'm going to use, I bought a license to use this at Shutterstock. I would highly recommend you to use your own lab animals photograph, the photograph that you took by yourself to build up your illustrations. Okay, so uh, let's start to draw the rat. And uh, first I will lock this image so it will not interfere me. And then uh, I will grab the pen tool and just start tracing the overall body shape of the rat. And you can see that uh, there is this pink fill that is showing up. That That is from my previous setting. And I it is quite distracting. So I'll come to the color panel to remove it. And also uh, I switch the stroke color to blue. So uh, I can see it better when it's on top of the rat. Okay. And, and I'll speed up this part because it is just uh, tracing. And then we will work on the eye of the rat. Uh, first, I will grab the eclipse tool to draw a perfect circle uh, by holding shift while dragging. Then I will switch to the direct selection tool and move this button anchor point a little bit upward. Then I rotate the eye a little bit to fit uh, with the reference better. Okay, now we can start working on the year. And you see that uh, here I'm, I haven't uh, round any corner while uh, tracing the year. I just leave it as a sharp corner because later I will use a tool that's called the round corner widget to round it. Um, it's just a faster way to round these corners instead of uh, dragging the handles. Okay, and then uh, I will do the same thing to the ear at the back and uh, that's uh, just the same step that we're going through. And now I uh, will start working on the nose. Uh, the nose, we will just quickly draw a, a triangle that is roughly the shape of the nose. And then I'll come to the control panel here and click on this smooth anchor point uh, function. And then uh, it will automatically round it everything for us and make the triangle more organic. Okay, and uh, now we are ready to fill in some color into our rat. Uh, so first I will work on the year color. Uh, I'll come to the swatch. I'll come to the swatches to uh, pick this pink. And it is a little bit too saturated. So I'll come to the color guide to desaturate it. And for the year orifice part, uh, I will use the original pink. So it looks uh, like it's... Uh, it's a opening that's going inward and then with the eye i will use this red now we can work on the stroke outline of the rat and i will make it thinner and then also switch it to gray as uh, what uh, we usually see in graphic abstract for these few structures the eyes the nose and the orifice i will just uh, remove the stroke so it will uh, blend into the rat better okay and now uh, we are ready to apply a gradient into our rat body uh, we will use a linear gradient so let's go to the gradient tool and uh, click on this linear gradient and i will switch it to uh, the minus 90 degrees so the darker part will be at the uh, bottom of the rat And um, usually when you uh, first uh, apply the linear gradient, it will be something like this, like it's really dark, black and white. And I will, so I already switched it into a gray color from here. So uh, it will not look uh, too uh, sharp as the contrast. And for the back ear, I will also use the same gray that I apply in a gradient. And here uh, we, we need, 
Here we need to uh, adjust the uh, button of the year a little bit that to make it just covering the outline of the body so it looks like it, it is blending in to the body. Okay, now I'm creating a highlight for the eye so I draw a very small uh, perfect circle and then I will make it, uh, I'll give it a white fill and then uh, just make it even a little bit smaller and reposition it to a little bit upper right of the eye so uh, it can give um, reflective light on the eye so uh, it will look more like an eye essentially and now I'm putting on some whiskers so the red whiskers are uh, relatively shorter uh, on to their to their body and then I will just use the pen tool to draw this stroke and then I'll change the stroke into this style of the uh, stroke width that the, uh, the two ends are uh, getting smaller so it will look more like the whisker shape and also apply a gray into the whiskers and uh, once you're ready you can start making copies of these whiskers and then group them and make another copy to put it at the back of the red head so you have whiskers on the other side too so here i'm just quickly uh, create fixing the uh, outline of the year to make it a little bit more curvy so uh, it will look more like an organic uh, shape of the year. And then uh, I will do something to make our rat a little bit fluffy. So uh, let's grab this wrinkle tool. And uh, you can adjust the brush of the wrinkle tool by holding Alt or Option on Mac to adjust the brush size. And when you use this tool to uh, uh, brush on your outline of your red body then you see that it is starting to create some very small little wrinkles on the outline and then it will make the rat look a little bit fluffy so just a nice detail that you can add to your rat then we'll start tracing the feet of the rat and uh, this part it really depends on how detailed you want your feet to be uh, because they they actually will be really small uh, if you put them in the graphical abstract but if you really want to make it in detail you can also do that um, so uh, here I would just like uh, roughly trace the shape and then uh, I will apply the same uh, pink I used in the year and then uh, I would just finish tracing uh, all the other feet of the rat and finally, uh, we will uh, draw the tail of the rat and make sure that uh, the tail needs to be shorter than the rat body. That's one of the difference between rats and mice, which is that the rat has a shorter tail in relative to their body size. Okay, so that's how you draw a rat for your research publication. And uh, yeah, I hope this can help you with your research. Please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to Draw About Matt for more of these videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.